Guys, this is huge. So we have the Monster Hunter event coming and I've been excited to kind of see this because this is the first crossover event and this is kind of showing what the events and updates are going to be like in this game. So I'm very excited to see, mic's too high up, I'm very excited to see how this is going to flow. So it arrives in seven days. I do have some details and I found a couple of videos from well, because this game's been out for years in different countries. So I have seen a few videos of it. Not quite of the actual event, so I cannot particularly tell you what that entails, but I've seen gameplay of the character, and he looks ridiculous. It's Ken. I didn't realise it was Ken in a Monster Hunter costume. I like the way they've done that, so it, it, it I guess it kind of makes a bit more sense than just sort of throwing a random Monster Hunter character in. It's just Ken basically cosplaying the main Monster Hunter characters that you'd see in the game. So I think it's pretty cool. So I want to just read over and have a look here. So this obviously arrives in seven days. So that means next Thursday, it will start probably at exactly around this time. Because obviously they do their sort of daily refresh over midnight-ish, I think. So if we click go now, we have this here. So it's basically starting and there's a seven day countdown and you're just going to be able to take home a few little bits and pieces from it so it's nice that they do this again they, they don't have to do these cool little countdown things but it does and there's like loads of days you can just share each poster every day so very easy just push the share button click share and then close out of it and it counts and i get one summon just for doing that it's pretty decent you do that and you get a little oh you get a cool monster hunter frame that's going to be sick so you get a gore magala chat bubble so there's not much more at the moment sort of telling me what's going on there but that's pretty cool. We've got a new thing here called a Destiny Tarot. Now, again, I haven't actually looked at this yet, so I'm not going to go into too much detail on it. I want to talk about the event. But it says, you may perform a Destiny Tarot when the Tarot Secret has been obtained from daily missions or the mall. Um, 50 Tarot Essence with every 10. So it basically, it's just a little extra summon thing, but if you can get them daily, no problem. I, I don't have a single a nice little rewards there. It's just another standard summon quite happy with that really because like, technically you can just ignore it and just chip in at the end so got the heroic gift login which is extended again they put brought this back in so i was very happy with that to see a more login bonus we've got the step still going we've got the friend assembly still going and we've got the obviously double in the city pursuit so that's pretty good so what does this monster event mode tell even fights tactical victories that's the um, pvp mode actually the draft oh this looks so cool Dual Grant, I, I was not, ex when I launched this game up earlier today, none of this stuff had popped up. <laughs> There's just so much kind of random bits that have just come out. Um, let's just enter one of these. What is this? This looks cool. Draft mode, fair fights, select fighters. Ooh, this is cool. So you build your teams up as you go. Okay. I, I like a bit of Hugo. Get him in there. Ooh, I'm not sure about these characters. I'm, I'm going to have to go with um, fire. I want to get another fire character. Um... Let's go with Dudley. I got my free fire characters there. Um, Cammy's a good one. <gasps> oh, Jen, yes. Get Jen in there. Juru. Oh, I'm getting lucky with some legendaries here. Combat Gilly. Let's try him out. Um, fashion. So maybe that wasn't a smart move of picking those. <laughs> uh, but there we go. All right, let's just do a challenge. Oh, it's got the little arcade machine as well. This is so cool. Oh. Oh, is this a little live battle? This is cool. I'm just going to pick an absolute garbage team. Oh, no, he's picked the same character as I have. Get him in. Get her in. Yeah, that's what I thought, mate. Look at my legendaries coming in. I'm going to die immediately. Um, Alright, he's picking now. Okay. Oh, he's got Hugo in. All right, all right, all right. Um, I'm going to go stupid, and I know you guys are going to get annoyed at me for this. I'm going to go single shield, single AOE. Lovely. Activate. So that means he can just bounce in and drop a little cheeky shield down. I'm hoping my... Considering I've got all legendary... Oh, no, they've got a healer. I'm, I'm done for. I'm actually going to be done in on this. This is such a cool little mode, though. Oh, you... All right, come on. Let's, let's get some special out here, lads. Lovely. Oh, big crit there. Here we go. Single attack. Rinse, 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 rinse. 
Shield. AoE. Oh, that is some nice damage. That is some really nice damage there. What's going on? What is going on? Oh my god, there's a wall of fire behind me. Lovely single. Get the shield in. Lovely. I'm going to get the AoE spin in now as well. They've kind of pushed him against this wall, but they're getting rinsed. Oh no, I'm dying. <laughs> okay, maybe I should have put a healer in. And a tank? Can you please not judge me? In my moment of um, lapse of judgment of just picking legendary characters. <laughs> I completely messed it. Oh my god, that AoE move just... Oh, the wall's pushing. Oh, that's such a cool mode. You tend you didn't see that, right? Oh, yeah, summon every day. Lads. That's such a cool mode. What the hell? That's so cool. I've gone off subject again, haven't I? Okay, so we're talking about the cheeky Monster Hunter character here. Now, there's no way I can actually show you the character pop up yet, unless, unless they've popped them in the gallery, which I don't think they actually have yet. Um, no, they haven't, because he's, he's going to be a legendary character. So what, what we're going to see in this mode is a boss. So you obviously saw just a second ago, we had that pop-up and the countdown. So if I go back into the mall... Um, oh, claim a, no, uh, there's so much going on. Events. Now, you see that dragon that's on the screen here? Basically, what's going to happen is there's going to be a character called Gore Magla Ken. Now, this character is going to be the Monster Hunter sort of skinned version of Ken, which I quite like. Um, he's a fighter type, he is balanced, and he's got a fighting style of Savage, which gives him a 25 plus attack. Um, apparently, he could be quite good in PvP, but he has got a move where he brings down a giant sword, and it basically cuts through everybody. So how is this going to work? What's going to happen is you'll be supplied... Food, so he supplies food to fighters. This, I think this is the EX move they've got as well. So I think there's going to be an X move. But the actual mode is going to be, you're going to be fighting this thing called Gore Magala. Now, I'm not a huge Monster Hunter fan, so I don't know if that's maybe like one of the biggest bosses in the game. But you're going to challenge three of his body parts, wing, claws, and head, to receive different rewards corresponding to its body parts depending on the damage dealt, which can then be exchanged for rewards such as avatar frames, viable fighters, and arcade coins, and there's going to be a separate shop. So it's pretty cool, I'm not going to go into too much more detail, but that is what the update's going to be. It's going to be a boss mode, that you're going to be able to fight different parts to get different coins, and there's going to be a shop. So it's going to be cool, and it's just going to be a nice extra little thing to look at really. So. I am excited to see what's going to come out, and I'm pretty certain what will come out will be an absolute shed ton of in-app purchases to follow, but this game is a pretty reason reasonable free-to-play game, so I'm not going to complain. So I'm excited. They've got a cool little event here, which um, ooh, I might see if I can get 300 and get, um, get old Blanca there. So yeah, it's all cool. So it said what you can get these from the daily summons. You can probably buy them with Dummons. Dummons? crystals diamonds whatever you want to call them guys so yeah they've obviously got the packs as they always do again no i know b for that it is just the way it is oh look you can get 90 in the daily pack i'm gonna do that just just because i want to try it out um don't judge me i want to do a summon for this video so this I, I tell myself this is for business purposes all right so i i, I don't <laughs> okay there we go so we got 90 so let's just do a couple of summons and, and see how it works. Ooh. Ooh, it's a little top-up bonus thing. Lovely. Okay, so let's give it a summon and see what we get. So I can do three of them, basically. Uh, yeah, don't remind me again today. Ooh. Ooh. That's good, actually. If I got three of those, I'm happy. Oh, that's awful. This doesn't look great. The best 99p I've ever spent. Research purposes, guys. That's what happens. Use an extra small amount of cash. Okay, cool. So I actually didn't really get any... I got all the worst stuff. 
Okay, so obviously the, the next day are the 14-day growths come in. Oh, I can get a lot of these. Yes, I've got the EX move. Oh, what was that? Okay, so oh, I, I need to get some more fires leveled up. I'm a little bit behind on this one, but I've got the EX move, which is fantastic, because that's just going to sit as my third one now, So which is going to be really helpful. So I basically got three now. So I can do that upgrading one, and I can, I'll can i probably end up getting seven characters as we go. By the time I hit day seven, I'll probably have done that, because in seven days as well, which is nice, the, um, the actual event comes out as well so this will finish before the monster hunter event to try and grab as much bits and pieces as you can but it it doesn't seem like saving summons i want to save summons anyway because i i want to just wait and see how it works with ken now i don't know if i'm actually going to be able to get to the 50 on this one because um there's a lot going on i'm, I'm going to try all 900 for, for a full character i'm, I'm certainly going to try it or oh, i'm going to buy that one tomorrow as well um i've already got one of those obtained 70 fighters of a grade Obtain the War Dance Fighting Soul. So those are quite easy. To be honest with you, they're not actually that difficult. It's basically just telling you to stop being lazy and go through each of those um, modes, which I quite like. So yeah, so this is a bit of just a, a, a random video, but I just wanted to go over that update with you. We've got it coming in seven days. Now let's get up, open these characters and see what I can get. Not bad. Come on, M. Bison. Or Chun-Li. Chun-Li, come on. I'm scared. Oh, new fire, lovely. Oh, we got a, why have we got a weird screen? Who's this? Why did I get it? Ah, I thought it was a legendary character. Why did I get a cool intro screen for, for that? I don't need that. Come on, man. That's just, that's done me day, that has. All right, I got one here as well. Let's go. Oh, this game is garbage. I swear to God. That's just done me. That's actually done me in. I'm not even happy about that. But I'm angry now. So, <sighs> you, you just need to let me be sad for a little bit on that one because those summons were not great. They were not great at all. That's actually very upsetting. Okay, and I've also got to stage 916. So to round this absolute jumble of a random video up i wanted to go over some comments so jamie hallam told me to work on mad ryu as you can see i've done that and i've got him to 125 and i've also i've just run out of him and i've also prestiged him so it has actually helped me a lot and he's a very very good character so yeah for those of you who are sort of querying whether to use mad ryu or not he's brilliant um he does his his main special way just shoots that fireball there's so much damage. Like, I'll just try and do a battle to sort of round the video up here, guys. See where I can get to. Right, here we go. Oh, I've got my third one now as well, haven't I? Yeah, lovely. Okay, so just watch Mad Ryu if I put his special on first. Just watch it when he shoots that fireball. It's stupid damage. Here we go, fireball. Nearly killed that guy. It's quite nice, actually, because he came forward. Oh, little, little rocket rain. Well, this has gone horribly wrong. <laughs> um, I was close there, but I'd probably bin that up because I, I had... Um, I'm going to go back to my normal combo where I do AoE heal, single, single, like that. Because he comes in and does a spin move. does so much damage. So that, that does those damage, right? He does that, then he spins in like that. Oh, he actually managed to evade a couple of those. That was a bit cheeky, actually. Hit. All right, lovely, lovely. That's good healing there. What? Oh, this game is trash. I swear to God. All right, come on. Yes, he didn't evade as he didn't evade as many hits. Yes, we've killed him. Mad Rai's still in the front. Mad Rai took some dings there. There's nothing. Yes! Come on. Another level completed you don't see awful gameplay like this anywhere guys so click that like button and do consider pushing join to enter my monthly money giveaway for each pound of membership you spend you'll be entered into the competition once thank you guys i just wanted to 
show you that we've got an awesome update, how far I am, and a huge shout out to Jamie for telling me to work on Mad Ryu. He is phenomenal. Jamie, you're a legend. And Neil, just laughing at me when I chat rubbish, which is basically all I do. But I'm loving this game. And thanks for the um, uh, sort of reception on yesterday's video while I was explaining that through to you. The few people who wanted me to do it sent me some nice messages. So I appreciate that to all of you as well. And yeah, you guys are legends. Smash that like and subscribe button and comment down below how excited you are for the first crossover event. I am excited to see it. So I'll see you guys all in the next one.